tonight from M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. They love their crab cakes and they love their football. That's what Maryland does. And we are at M&T Bank Stadium down near the Inner Harbor of Baltimore. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big-time cannon for an arm, and that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former major league pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs? They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Brings up second and a yard at the 30-yard line. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because, to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Still 14 yards to go, second down. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. A screen to Bell. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And he will have a Chiefs first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. 
That throw is not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Three yards the gain there, second down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. How about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, He's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. So now it's third and goal. This Raven defense trying to keep him out of the end zone. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And it's caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game, then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. Harrison Butker. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From the six. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And number eight, Lamar Jackson trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. And what a sophomore season he had for the Cardinals. Pretty much swept every major quarterback award, including the Heisman Trophy. And we spend a lot of time talking about his legs. Formidable. He can run the ball like few others, but the key to everything for him is his ability to be accurate from the pocket. First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. And he tiptoes around defenders for a gain of about five. Random to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Second and five now. 
Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. Well, opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Chiefs seven, Ravens nothing. <laughs> Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. He sets to fire deep. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, 46 yards. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover it? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Justin Tucker for the extra point. For the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive of four plays, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. the kicks away fielded just outside the goal line and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line at their own 26 yard line Kansas City taking the field for their second drive and that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good so they'll be hoping to do that once more and it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach they felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive and we'll see if they can do just that and just no chance of turning the corner he can only get back to the line of scrimmage second and ten coming up Brings up second. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Throwing on second down, Mahomes. And he'll get this underneath to Bell. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A gain of six yards. And it's third down. a third and four after that last completion gets him six from the gun it's Mahomes and it's complete to Kelsey and he will have a Chiefs first down they needed five there on third down he winds up getting seven he had the touchdown on the opening drive now he's got a first down 
And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Mahomes again. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. Mahomes pass. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Mahomes to throw once more over the middle, and it's incomplete. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one, and it's third and five. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously, no loss of confidence with that defense, and now they get to turn it back to their offense. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there. And, and he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. the sack here second and 11 another try after the first down sack Jackson stepping up he'll try and run they'll wind up with positive yardage it's a gain of three but now it's third down now how about that play he took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit On third down, Jackson over the middle complete. It's Andrews. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jackson to Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. The 
A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll be marked down all the way inside the KC-10. A big play there on the catch and run. 57 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Jackson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Jackson will throw again. Now he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll try to run with Dobbins. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. J.K. Dobbins with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Tucker now for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. Justin Tucker. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Mahomes now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. 
Here now is second and ten again from the 41. Mahomes now to throw. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. And again, it's Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Caught. Kelsey, left side. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Butker's kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a terrific first half from the dual-threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. ready to receive it and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half this will be fielded inside the five and they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. takes over first and 10 at their own 28 yard line out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. And now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. 
four yards. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 16 yards, a first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again, Jackson. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 21. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. You know, Lamar Jackson last season, the first NFL quarterback with 3,000 or more passing yards and 1,000 or more rushing yards in the same season. And we've seen both of those talents on display here today. We just saw another completed pass. And everyone knew coming out of college he could run the ball. But for some reason, we didn't analyze it throwing the way we should have. I think every time he completes a pass, he says to himself, take that, evaluators. You guys really missed the boat on me. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Well, he had success earlier in the drive, keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. Second and 14. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. Call of the gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the score. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Jackson from the shotgun. He completes it to Bryant. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it second and goal. Well, it's apparent the defense understands the situation. They have to keep them out of the end zone here. That's a great start by them. A loss on that play. Can they force them into a field goal attempt and still give their offense an opportunity? Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Jackson going to look to do it himself. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time, when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? 
from the gun. Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Des Bryant there to make the grab as the Ravens push further out in front. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Tucker now to add the point after. The extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They'll look to make some inroads here trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Derek Wolf popping in for the sack. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes and quickly into the hands of Robinson. Mahomes. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And they run the option here on first and 10. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Bell, the ball carrier. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. That's the end of the third quarter. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A good run. Got seven on first. Here's second and three. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Now Mahomes. Over the middle, it's complete. Mahomes Seven yards, the pick up there. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. 40-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now here's Mahomes. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. 
Damari Jackson sacked. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. An option handoff here to Dobbins, and he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, take, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. And it's second down. I know you're thinking it, but I'll just go ahead and say it to give you an idea of how sharp he's been in this game. Just his second incompletion, and we're in the fourth quarter. He has been locked in, laser focused all throughout this one, hasn't he? Certainly has, and he's gotten some help from his receivers as well. They also are locked in. Yeah, the drops have been at a bare, bare minimum. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, he can't hold him. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens will extend their lead. He's got the hat trick. Three touchdowns now. Did you throw yours? Did you throw yours? I didn't have mine. You've got yours. You've got one of those eight Lincoln hats. Yeah, and that stove pipe is going right out there for him. A nose for the end zone. Third time today. I think he deserves a tip of the cap. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins.
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. On first down, Mahomes. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. A gain of six there on first. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, and he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. complete. That one, a first down pickup of eight. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. So second and four from the 22. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he'll get this underneath to Bell. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now it's Mahomes again. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. To Marcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. That'll bring up second down. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And they'll go back to Robinson. This time he's got him. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.